guys, to start off my card today, I am just going to be cutting out some papers to fit on a 6x6 card base. Uh, no uh, particular measurements, I just eyeball it. And uh, now I'm just gluing everything down with some tacky glue. So for my image, um, I watercolored it, and I've cut apart this journaling card from the collection. Um, I wanted some of the floral detail to be on top of the image, as opposed to just taking the stamp, and or just the image that was colored and cut out. I didn't want to just, you know, plop it right on top. I wanted some of the detail to be on top of the image and some of it to be behind it. So right now I'm just uh, fiddling with that and I'm going to glue it down to my card. All right, well, I didn't glue it down to the card yet. I put it on this uh, maroon colored cardstock by Paper Tray Ink. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but um, I will try and find it on the website and link it down below. It's a really nice maroon color. Uh, I thought it matched the dress really well. So I'm just going to attach that to uh, this little uh, piece of paper that I cut earlier, just with some staples. And uh, now I'm going to watercolor some canvas resist pieces from Prima. Um, I wish they would continue uh, making these because I love them. I have, I'm hoarding some of them, but these ones I actually bought off of a D stash from the Robin Laura. Uh, she did a printery D stash and a nature garden D stash, and I needed both of those because um, it's like vintage Prima. <laughs> And so uh, all of most of the embellishments I'm using actually come from the printery uh, D stash that she um, sold for a really decent price, and these canvas resist pieces were in it, so um, I wanted to use it right away. So thanks, Laura, for offering that up. It, um, I'm really pleased with everything that you put in there. It's like a little kit, so I've been using it. And uh, so just watercolor. These are simple watercolors. I think they were like five ninety nine. Um, they work really well. I use them to color the image um, that I'm using today. So um, I'm just drying that up with this paper towel, and um, I'm adding a little, some little flowers, and I cut that flower, that canvas flower, in half. And I'm going to use them in opposite corners. And uh, that um, hourglass chipboard piece is from the printery collection. And it's going to go with my sentiment really well. Uh, those uh, chipboards are really, really thick too. They're really nice. Another thing that I don't think Prima did this year. I don't think they uh, did the full like packet of uh, chipboards. So um, I'm using my Big Kick, and I'm going to cut out this uh, dainty uh, die that I wasn't able to cut out before with my older die cut machine. So I'm so excited to get this in. Uh, and you'll see how dainty that, um, that little filigree is. I cut it in half uh, just to stretch it. Uh, it adds a real feminine touch. Um, with the dark colors real nice and that's a sweet stamps die and I'll link um, that below as well so um, I think I'm get I'm looking for my stamp set right now and it's the simply said stamp set by cards TV it's perfect for all occasions if uh, you just want to get one sentiment set that has pretty much everything in it that one is definitely for you and they stamp really clean too. And so it says um, one day at a time. So uh, like I said, I thought that would look really cute with the um, hourglass. Excuse my sniffles. I'm, I'm overcoming some asthma symptoms. So <clears throat> I 
see, oh, I'm getting some pearls to finish up the card. And uh, that's going to do it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And um, uh, stay tuned for some pictures at the end.